Do you have a small patio or live in an apartment complex like me, or maybe just have a small yard where you don't have the ability to put up a full-size dipole or infant half-wave antenna? Well, today we're going to look at a linear loaded dipole on this side of the radio. All right, welcome to my workbench, also known as my kitchen table. So a dipole in its simplest form is simply the shielding of one side of the coax and the center conductor of the other side of, of, of the coax being attached to a piece of wire and, and going out opposite of each other. So I went with this Garrett uh, 18 gauge speaker wire because it's like 20 bucks on Amazon. And I had a coworker 3D print uh, this piece and I'll put a link to the the Thingiverse file down there, but uh, I like this one because it has the ability to slide onto a telescopic mast. So I did a, uh, a female BNC connector, and uh, on this side of it, I just soldered the, uh, uh, the center post, and that's gonna go to one leg, and the ground that's going off to the other, which would be the braid of the coax. I didn't put a ballon in here. Uh, some people say you need one, some say you don't. I figured I would test it and find out and uh, so far I haven't really needed one but uh, there is space in this particular uh, package to do so and if uh, it even has a in the file it has a cover if you want to seal it up and make it uh, weather resistant you can actually do that as well so uh, I, I used these um, uh, just speaker I don't know I guess you'd call them bulkheads but speaker connector bulkheads and connected to each one of those that way if I wanted to uh, change the wire out. I can just unscrew the nuts here and then put the wire in and and uh, you're good to go. Now I will say uh, you should probably let me find my wire. So what I did to provide a little strain relief for this is uh, come through the front end that way you'll loop it around and then it'll go into the uh, into this bulkhead. Now, when you uh, string this antenna up, it'll you'll you'll have some strain relief, so it's not pulling on the bulkhead. You'll have some strain relief, and it'll pull uh, on the mount itself. But uh, do that for both sides when you when you uh, put the antenna up, and uh, you're good to go. So, apologies for the background noise, but here is a picture of the installation. Now, my patio is uh, just over 16 feet wide, so I've got it running from the corner. And then I'm using just using tape to uh, to keep the elements close together. And then the open in there is where uh, I was trimming the wire to tune it for the 15 meter band. But yeah, just it's super simple and uh, easy to put up. And uh, I'm quite surprised at how well this operated. So I mentioned earlier in the video that this is going to be a linear loaded dipole, and you may be asking yourself, Shane, uh, what is a linear loaded dipole? Well, a linear loaded dipole is, or a linear loaded antenna is just a fancy way of saying we're going to fold the antenna back on, on itself. Um, this reduces the overall length of the antenna, and uh, you can still place these pretty much in any configuration that you can place a regular uh, dipole, the sloper, the inverted U, or the inverted V. It really doesn't matter. Um, it doesn't really affect the the how the antenna performs so there's a little bit of math involved and i promise i'll make it painless because i'm not the best at math anyway so to get the length of of each side of the antenna you want to you want to do the wavelength multiplied times 0.17 so my patio is about 16 and a half feet wide so i needed to find an antenna that would fit into that space once it was linear loaded so on 15 meters, if you multiply 15 by meters by 0.17, that gives you roughly 2.55 meters in length or roughly 8.36 feet on each side. So that would fit within my 16 and a half foot uh, space. So the total length of the antenna, 16 foot 8 inches. So I took my 18 gauge wire, cut it to uh, eight, uh, 16 foot 8 inches, split the two pieces in, in uh, half and Lo and behold, now I have two pieces of wire that are both eight, 16 foot eight, 8 inches. So uh, fold them back on themselves and then use tape along the entire length of the antenna to keep the element as close together as you can. And then uh, attach one end to the, um, to the dipole center connector and the other one you're going to use to trim for the frequency.
So when I first put this uh, antenna up using these measurements, uh, on the left here, you'll see that I was just a little bit below the 15 meter band. So I knew that the antenna was a little bit too long. So I started trimming the end, the open end of the antenna and was able to get the antenna down because to, uh, to within the 15 meter, uh, space for SSB. So if you look at the, the, uh, uh, splits in the frequency there. I've got uh, it really starts to come into resonance around two point uh, twenty one point fifty three. So I like to uh, on fifteen meters. I like to stay above the bottom end of the SSC, but but stay below the top end of it. And I find most of the traffic to be between twenty one uh, two hundred and twenty one three hundred. So I wanted the antenna to be the most resonant resonant within that uh, that portion of the band and it worked out great did, did only had to trim about uh, six to six or eight inches uh, off the antenna itself and then it and as you can see uh, the I think it reached the lowest point that it reached was about 1.38 to 1 SWR uh, which is perfectly fine for me the 7300 didn't mind it at all so let me play you a clip of what was going on when i plugged in the radio and i tuned spun the dial down to i think we're at 21 uh 200 here's the QSO that was going on and i to say the least i was shocked i got a november 6 tango it should yes question on the portable about 41 kilowatt hotel six portable kilowatt hotel six Hawaii, over. Roger, Roger, they caught it. November 6th, I'm going to be here. It's a kilo hotel six in the Hawaii Island. Thank you very much for your contact. You're 59, Baja, California. Go ahead. Okay, fine. Um, you're 5 and 9, very strong, on the island of Oahu, on the north uh, shore, uh, north of uh, Honolulu. My name is Jim, Japan, India, Mexico. Uh, go ahead. Oh, thank you, James Olson. Now you were a nice QSL for the, uh, for the uh, uh, Hawaii airplane. You were probably nice blasted by California. Very nice scene on the field. Now, that's pretty remarkable being able to hear Hawaii from Texas on a small piece of wire that I put on my patio. Um, <laughs> and ham radio never ceases to amaze me. Let's just be honest there. So I uh, decided to do a little more spinning, found uh, a station that was calling CQ on 21283 and made a contact, a Papa Papa 5 Juliet radio. And uh, 59 was the, the uh, signal report from uh, Brazil. So uh, needless to say, I think we're pretty good at working DX on 15 meters from just the patio. All right, thanks for watching this side of the radio today and my linear loaded dipole build. If you found this information helpful or fun, smash the thumbs up button and uh, hit the subscribe if you don't mind. It didn't cost you anything. The next video is going to be right here and we will see you on the next one. 73.